Red light cameras are coming to Denver, just not where city leaders think they should be. A council member says all the evidence points to Federal Boulevard needing the cameras. Well, CDOT disagrees and claims it has data that shows it is in the right. Well, Denver 7's Jackie Cray is joining us tonight with more on this. Jackie? Yeah, Ann and Shannon, a few Denver City Council members seem to disagree with CDOT about how to make this intersection, for example, at Federal and Alameda safer. Denver City Council says add a red camera. CDOT says no, it's actually not as easy as a fix as you think. In fact, sometimes it can make it worse. They blow red lights, yellow lights, just like this right here. The people, people speeding across the intersections, they don't give a damn. If you're catching the bus every day like Nicholas Hernandez, navigating major streets like Federal is tricky. If they had a camera on the intersection, dude, they would get so they would they would catch so many people speeding and 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 doing illegal uh, crossing of the intersection. Cameras won't be at this intersection on Federal. It's not even being considered. And the three the city was hoping for and actually requested were denied. That's why City Councilman Paul Lopez is worried a new $1.2 million city contract is missing its chance to protect more people. There are people who are running to catch the bus, trying to get to work, trying to get home. Uh, there are folks that just want to cross the street. Uh, we have to protect pedestrians as well. The contract will add red light cameras and a new van to monitor speeds and ticket offenders. CDOT spokesperson Tamara Rollison says it's not that easy. Red light cameras aren't always the fix. People will have a tendency to drive fast and then they'll slow down real quickly when they see the red light camera and then that can cause a rear end crash. We took a look at the number of accidents at the three proposed intersections, which all fall under CDOT's jurisdiction. From summer of 2012 through summer of 2017 at Federal and Alameda, there were 50 rear end crashes and five broadside crashes. At Colfax in Colorado, there were 16 rear end crashes and three broadside crashes. And at Colfax in Monaco, there are a lot of broadside crashes which could use a red light camera, but more studies are needed before moving forward. Councilman Lopez says still something's missing. What about the people? I think it's a technology that no matter where you put it in the city, it'll change behavior, right? Nobody wants to get a ticket for running a red light. And at the same time, nobody's going to get hit by a car. And Councilman Lopez wants to point out when he says, what about the people he's talking about? Pedestrian accidents should be considered in that data. You're looking at a, a sign here, obviously a reminder of an accident that's happened in the past. For now, this issue is on hold. Denver City Council will take it back up in January. I'm live at Alameda and Federal. Jackie Cray at Denver 7. Interesting. Thank yeah. you, Jackie.